the Bulls are right. taking their feet. The Bulls aren't in the bonus, so you got to be careful with the ball when you go up to shoot. They can foul and make you take it out of bounds. Danny swings it. For the shot clock. Let's the three-pointer fly. Won't get it. NBA Insider says Suns should trade Kevin Durant, call OKC Thunder. The speculation of Kevin Durant joining the Oklahoma City Thunder again is circling more than it did eight years after he left. Durant has been at the center of several unsuccessful projects in the last few years. In 2019, the Brooklyn Nets signed him and Kyrie Irving, and later traded their depth and future to get James Harden. From the trio, nothing was forthcoming. Then, the Nets' depth on the roster and future trade assets were severely compromised when the Phoenix Suns moved to acquire Durant through a trade. There was only so far they could go when they couldn't win a championship. From a team-building perspective, it seems like they've run out of options and are delaying. If the Suns want to contend for a championship once more, they'll need to make a significant move, and it's doubtful that their big three will allow it to happen. According to ESPN's Tim McMahon, the Suns should let go of Durant in order to expedite any possible rebuild or reload. In doing so, he thinks that eight years after his departure, which soured Oklahoma City supporters, the Suns should reach out to the Thunder about a possible reunion. Trading Kevin Durant would be the best course of action for the Suns, which is definitely not what Matt Ishbia wants to hear, McMahon told AZ Central. Kevin Durant would still be highly sought after. I would definitely call his original residence first. I'm not sure if Oklahoma City would be interested, but I could convince myself that he would fit in perfectly there and that in that scenario, it would be more about the picks than it would be about the players you're getting back. From a basketball-only perspective, that might work well. Durant's varied skill set and physical attributes would allow him to fit into almost any basketball system. Nevertheless, there's no reason to believe the Thunder would act in this way. In terms of flexibility, the Thunder have more than adequate cap space and draft capital for the next five years, in addition to having one of the lowest payrolls in the NBA. By making a trade for Durant, they put both of those things at danger. Sam Presti, general manager of Thunder, hangs up the phone fast for two main reasons. The Thunder obviously have something special happening even if they were getting Durant for a very low price. The Thunder's depth and all-around talent led by Shai Gilgis Alexander helped them to a 57-25 record and the top seed in the Western Conference. They defeated the New Orleans Pelicans in the opening round and are preparing for a matchup with them in the second round in less than a week. It defies logic for the Thunder to throw everything on the line for a 35-year-old Durant for almost every reason. Their seemingly endless championship window is getting shorter with the addition of Durant. Would you like to participate in the conversation? For the most recent Thunder news, follow us on Twitter and like Inside the Thunder on Facebook. Meet the group that produces the coverage as well. Have no time out. So you gotta make sure you meet the pass. I say get it to KD and everyone else get the heck out. Yeah, well you can't throw it directly. You can't. The Rosen is playing also, which is a good thing. Dirk with a rock. Finds Durant, raising up for the win!